All right, here's a good one. Trying to embrace failure, but fearing it. Yeah, because right now we understand failure, what you do with failure defines you and and often is the impetus to your success. Mm -hmm. But fuck, it's also uh, scary. Hurts. You know, and yeah. And it hurts. Yeah. It's like a eight month. It's, it hurts our ego. I mean, it just does. Yeah, it hurts our ego. It hurts. It's like I spent all this time. I energy. I thought it was going to do a thing. It didn't do that at all. And I wasted a year of my life or six, whatever, a day or whatever. I, I think it's okay that it hurts. I don't like the putting ego on it makes it seem like because you're a fucking ego. And it's like, no, it fucking hurts. It hurts getting you go meet a girl for a date and she doesn't want to. It's your ego, yeah, but it's still no, like it is ego. Yeah. But, it, but ego isn't all bad. We need our ego. Yeah. I mean, I can get into like my chemical thing where like that is just that that is like the chemicals introduce ego. If you don't feel if you can just like be, then there's no ego. It's just very hard to know what to do. Like, do I eat? Do I walk? Do I do do I just be? Or I just think the ego, I'm with you, that ego is not purely uh shitty and and selfish I mean, like the answer is never outside of ourselves it's in you know right it's always inside it's always simple aren't you proud of your the things you made though yeah <laughs> yeah yeah i'm proud yeah. of the things i've made yeah and do you some are you, of them some of them no i know are don't you, age well I mean, comedy doesn't age are well. you proud of them in order of popular current popularity no. Yeah. There's stuff I made that nobody liked that I love. Yeah. And it didn't, it did not connect. Yeah. The, <laughs> the masses. Yeah. So it's just, and is that ego or is that just like, I don't know. I had an idea. I executed it and I, I hope people, it was like a little project. It was like Rory building a bench. It, you know, it's, I don't know which part of this is ego because it's, it's like I made a video and I was like, this is so fucking weird and excellent. And I still love it, but it didn't. Didn't go viral for you? Uh, no, not even close. And, it, it, you know, and, uh, but I still, it didn't change how I, my opinion yeah. on it. <laughs> you know? Well, it's also, there's a thing of uh, similar to like, you got to keep the thing open. It's like the same part of you that makes that up makes the Sarah Silverman program or the Jesus or like the stuff that is super popular. So, all right. So that time was just like, that one was a dud. Doesn't mean like burn the factory down. Just means like that was just a bad, that I, the recipe was a little off. It's a, the kitchen's fantastic, but like that in that particular one, it's like, eh, it was, I don't know. Like, it's not so bad, but I think it's when it's a failure the, it's the failures when you didn't listen to yourself and all that stuff that you're like. Well, yeah, I mean, there's nothing worse than failing after adhering to a bunch of notes you didn't necessarily agree with, and then it, you know, and then it, and then it bombs, or it, or they don't, or they don't pick it up, or whatever. And it's like you want to like, you want to fail on something you believe in. Yeah. I mean, you don't want to fail on something you believe in, but but you'd rather. Be, I think so. And have you gotten better with that, accepting yeah. the failures? There's always a moment. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I don't know if it's healthy or not, but like everything I make, I'm like, I'm putting gold in their lap right now. I mean, here I and, go again. And, it, and I am shocked when it doesn't get picked up. I I, I can't believe the mistake yeah. they're making. Like, you know, like mm-hmm. and and then a month later, I'm like, oh, that, yeah, no, I'm not. I'm on to the next thing. I yeah, I could talk about that endlessly. Cause and because we mostly fail. Yeah. So it's like, and then the the successes just keep you on the hook for like three more failures. Yeah, stand-up is just failing and then weeding out the stuff that yeah. didn't fail and building on that or figuring out why this failed and, and figuring out, a, you know. Or like jokes that you love that fucking bomb every time and you're like, I'm still going to try it. And like, you, yeah. eventually you have to give up if you don't figure it out. But it's just like, why do I love this and nobody likes it? What am I missing? Am I not completing enough of the circle for them to see the circle? Like, you know what I mean? No, I don't. No one. That's why it's impossible. Yeah. 
that's why they give you a billion and dollars. And how audiences are like mobs. Like, it's so funny how an audience will, they'll either all laugh at something yep. or no one laughs. And it's just like, how did you guys all get together and figure out what to laugh at? But it's, there's, it's, there's some chemical scientific reason that a group of people who are strangers to each other react in all, as one. I always feel, I, and I don't even know if I'm right. If there's an influencer, the same way there's influencers online, is there an influencer in the crowd? And I'm they don't they might not even be aware of it, but like and the audience may not be aware of it consciously, but there's one kind of alpha alpha audience member who's kind of signaling to everyone else. I it's it would well, be impossible to measure. I'll tell you what your brother told me. I love in, it already. Uh, 1990s when I started there. And um him and and really the whole brain trust of all male comics informed me that you can't talk about stuff about a woman's life unless it's also relatable to a man. You have to focus solely on making the men in the audience laugh because they're on dates and the women will only laugh if their date is laughing. It was scientific. Where are we on that? <laughs> uh, it, it is proven in, through time to not actually be true. And I feel like you, the audiences have changed so much. So it's like. Well, because the whole world has changed. Yeah. And so you, I don't even, I'm, I bet 20% of your audience is on dates. Yeah. Or tops. Yeah. But well, it's not that 20%, it's not that less people no, are on course. dates. <laughs> right? No, of course. It's like it, it doesn't adhere to whatever. Women will now show their teeth. They will be, yeah, they're allowed to laugh out loud above a certain decibel. You couldn't go above a decibel. Right. No. The gals um, until 2007. This is a good one and a bad one, accepting failure. Yeah. Um, I, well, I learned early on to accept failure, especially in my skating because I was, I did so poorly competing. You know, my, Every my very, time or just when you first started? Uh, first started. And you're still kind of that kid. And it would go, it would, it would fluctuate. It, I would do well, say at, at a park that I knew, like, you know, my home park, obviously. Yeah, that was, was in the dock, there. right? Yeah. But then I go other places and I couldn't do all the same tricks. And then I made it my mission to make sure to go practice elsewhere, get out of my comfort zone. And figure that stuff out. And I eventually did. Um, but I learned a lot through those years of of failure. I mean, my first, my first uh skate event that I ever competed in, I'll never forget. I asked the because they didn't say the they only said the top 10 or whatever it was, you know. And I was I was in the 1A division, uh 11 and under, right? There's 2A, 12 to 14, 3A, like there were so many divisions, and there's like a hundred kids in mine. And so I went to the register uh registration i said um yeah can you tell me what place i got I'm like oh yeah honey what's your name it's a tony hawk and they she flips the first page there's like 20 names on the second page third page she gets to the last page i, I don't see it she's like oh honey i'm sorry <laughs> what do you mean she goes well you got and she points it second to last I think the who last the guy may not have the, actually competed. Who was the fucking loser who came in last? <laughs> a, he probably didn't even skate. He just yeah. registered and got hurt. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, I, I remember that so vividly because I was just like, oh, I gotta, I gotta figure this out. Um, but but well, what's funny years, is, and you're still the same person. That's you're still that kid who sure who yeah, and, and I don't want to feel that disappointment. Yeah. yeah, but but I accept it much more than I used to, and I can go on with my day. Yeah, I mean, I know people that are like very obsessed. Uh, somebody I know was like obsessed with being number one, yeah. and I sent him a trophy for ninth place. <laughs> like here, you're still you're in ninth place. You're still lovable. You're still good. Yeah. But you just ninth. Like you don't have <laughs> right. to finish first in everything. Right. Right. Yeah. The, again, a lot of upside to that in terms of not accepting failure. That's how yeah. you get good. Is you're well, just, just bouncing back. Bouncing back. Yeah, and because no, I don't like accept failure and then just go crawl in my hole. I'm like, I'm gonna, fi I'm gonna get better at that. Do you consider that negative at all? No, only if it if it detracts from, yes, my 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 family time, or if it if it becomes dangerous, mm -hmm. and that's where you know that that's the kind of the 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 era that I'm living in now, where like don't. Don't obsess on some move that could take you out if it goes bad. Yeah. 
and you know those those are the heavy conversations I have with my wife these days for sure. Every day? No, no, no. But but every once in a while, something will come up. Like, why do you have to go do that? What you, you know, know what you should do? Why? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not good at that. So you're going to play golf. You should get a set of golf clubs. What's so that? Like, I'm going to play golf. Get some golf oh, yeah, clubs. Yeah, right. Yeah. And then be like, I'm going to golf, yeah. honey. And then why are you bringing elbow pads? Ah, whatever. This is a weird. <laughs> this course is weird. Just yeah, people people hit flat, people, foul balls. Yeah, it's like people. Uh, it, it's yeah. not called foul balls. It's errant shots. I'm, you're gonna need to get up to oh, you up golf, to date. Huh? I used to. Um, not anymore. It's too boring. I'll leave it to Nate Bargatze and Santina. I guess you, it sounds like you found some balance in life. It, yeah, it 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 took much later than I should have, but yes. My self-worth, ultimately, is too tied to my career and what I'm doing. My, 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 my worth as a human being is too based on how I perceive myself uh, as being at my job. I don't have that, like, it don't matter. I'm like, if I, that's what was hard when I would do stand-up all the time. If you have a bad set, you feel bad about yourself. Until For a day, the next, yeah. Yeah, the, that day fucking sucks, doesn't it? Yeah. It's the same with like acting, you know, if I have a day on set where I don't think I was at my best, that like really, really, really makes me feel like shit. I feel like I'm, like I'm not like a worthy person. Too much of my worth is not inherent. Too much of my worth comes from uh, how I think I'm doing. Totally agreed that I'm in the same boat. We both realize like too much tied up in this and are we fucking ourselves long term? I think we are. I don't know if you're born with it or it's you learn it. I know I've been like this since I can remember. Mm -hmm. Like with studies, I was a big nerd. I wasn't, you know, good at sports or cool or good title for a, for a special big nerd. You yeah hooked out, <laughs> and then I hooked out. But I really, really cared. Big nerd. Yeah, that's the next <laughs> one. Um, really studies. You know, I wanted to be first in class. Yeah, because in Pakistan, you got to rank it. So like first to each class was like forty two kids. First to forty two. I the bottom to, ten get get slaughtered, correct? In front of the school. Is that yeah, Pakistan? but I think it's it's called the culling, <laughs> and it you know it's it's what's uh, propelled us to global Fantastic. success. Yeah, and for years I didn't. I came in second, and that like really really bothered me and bugged me. And knowing that the, second, you came in second in school for many years, and then the guy left to go to another school. Then I came in first, but it was a little bit empty. You know, it's like Painted. Michael Jordan. Yeah. But I knew that that guy was very smart. And I knew I was smart, but I was like, I have to work harder than he does. But that's okay. I I'm never afraid of hard work. I do think we're setting ourselves up for ultimate failure because another, you know, I think I put this block there is divorcing my experience of doing something from the result. So, you know, we did the big sick. We had a great time doing it. It was hard, but it was a great time. And then it was successful. Great. I've done stuff where I've worked just as hard as I did on the big sick, mm -hmm. and it has not been successful. Mm -hmm. And then it's tainted my experience. It's made me feel stupid for having a good time doing this thing and working so hard at this thing that didn't and make money. And thinking it was going to be good. Thinking like, it was going to be good. Oh, this is going to crush. That's the fucking feeling I hate, you know, which you, later. But you have to do that. There's no, it's very, very hard to make a movie because it is a lot of work. 14 hour days, day after day after day. There are harder jobs. I'm not saying there aren't. I mean, but, and it's emotionally taxing. You have to think that what you're making is great because I've also made stuff that I knew wasn't great and that's a worse experience. But what I want to do is do what I do because, you know, big sick we got to control, but a lot of this stuff, you don't really get to control how it's going to come out. Enjoy that experience for what it is. Learn from it. Um, proud of, be proud of myself for doing well or working or whatever it is. And then throw it away and forget it. And if it does well, great. If it doesn't, it shouldn't really affect me. It shouldn't affect my memory of the experience. Like recently, you know, this is going to sound like a brag, but something I talked to my therapist about. I've been talking to my therapist you about- You a therapist? That is brag. Go ahead. Yeah. No, the brag's coming up. I, I with my therapist- Right after this. Trying to get out of the thing of having too much of how I think about myself being based on the result. We're working with a therapist on it a lot. And then I just got nominated for an Emmy. Great. Just now, think, thank you. But it felt so good. For what? Uh, I did the show called Welcome to Chippendales that came out oh, last right, right, year. Right. All right, great. Um, I was I was thrilled. We did not expect it. You know, all all four of the main actors got nominated. The costume person did. Got to shout these people out. They're all wonderful. 
But it felt good to an alarming degree where I was like, oh, I am still in this and this is a trap. Like I was sort of like replaying in my head how it felt in the first, I would like find myself scrolling back and looking at the text of when I found out, you know, all this stuff, reliving conversations I had and looking up the list over and over. And I was like, this is too, this feels too important. It's good to be like, great. Uh, but move on. But too, the amount that it made me feel good about myself also scared me. And it's embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. Yeah. To like give a shit about this to the degree that I do. I was like, oh, this is a trap. The flip side of this is still going to crush me. I still have a lot of work to do. It's and it's embarrassing. Yeah. Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah. Did you like it though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe and then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen.